roll with the meta, and we might actually see some heads up jungle play between Tus and Ambition. Okay, Ambition already low, has to get out of there with the E, and there's the follow up on the Q immediately into an unburrow. Oh. And Shen is not really there to respond. Ambition trying to get a nice oh. flash taunt, and that's going to be first blood. Not done yet. Or expression. Shy now trying to hop out. Remember, he doesn't have flash, just that ignite. And are they going to go for it? Looks like the dive is coming through. Oh. Q finish from Tucson. <laughs> oh, some trading here. Roar actually has to. Pop back with the, oh, nice kill from Mad Life. Space low, Space going to use that Summoner Hill. Can they turn on to Ignar? No. There we go, Mad Life jumps in, but Unbreakable is now down. Has to flash out Tucson. Has a Shen ult. He will get stunned up, and there comes Expression into the bottom side for a kill onto Mad Life. Or Eva. Yeah, are they going to die? Victor is coming up right now through the enemy jungle. And there we go, Fish is going to miss Expression, and Tucson uh -oh. picking up that first kill. He's trying to, oh, there's the Ignite. And the Shen ult has to be used. But guess what, Frozen's here. Goodbye, Death Ray. Yes, they do. Here's that TP. Expression already in the back line. Space low. Hits up by a Tornado. And he is surely dead at some point. Got to get the summoner heal. Roar picks up the kill onto Shivay. That's a good idea. And Coco forces the flash. Uh -huh. Tucson goes forward. He actually dies right there. Goes too far in advance. Now they're gonna have to kite this one out. There is an Oriental Ball onto the vein. How did they get it there? Now Roar has the Shen ult onto him, but there's the Chaos Storm. They get a trade and out of the being drawn out. And Coco going to get caught right here. Kick back. Expression comes in with a late teleport, but he is there before Kogma and Shy can be, so it doesn't really matter. Focus down, destroyed, and there will be a Baron for sure. From LZIM, there's no smite up on the CJ side, and all they have are two very squishy carries. Expression can just sit here in front of that turret. He still has Stan Unite if anything goes crazy, so it's going to be the free Baron to join the four free dragons. The Lich Bane doing so much work. They're just spit pushing threats across the map. Like you said, here's the engage. Oh, they caught space, instantly dead. That Kogma, the Lee Sin kick doing its job. Double kill for Frozen's Damn, Victor. Don't be too silly. Yeah, Frozen uh, doesn't really take any damage. Thanks to the stand United onto him. He's dueling Coco uh, with that Death Ray and Tucson. And now they're just going to push down this Nexus. A win in game one for Long Zhu IM and a dominant one at that. And all the OGN legions should go back and just count how many times we had to use the word. Oh, the saddest oh, gold. Bad life. Is super low. What? Bad life may just solo him right now. They're gonna try and get the kill over and that is a kill on the Urchin Strike for the Fizz. Bigger problems than that, Monsico, so that's double buffs over. Yeah, Bad Life is there. There's the kick straight into not the Counter-Strike. Couldn't actually land the stun in time. Tucson has to get back. They're just going to dive it straight up as Bad Life picks up another kill with the help of his Ignite. And there's the Grandmaster Smite. Ult goes off. Cocoon will miss as he uses the Leap Strike. Fish comes through. And goodbye, Expression. Coco there with the Wild Growth for the backup. Frozen now pursuing Ambition under the turret. Frozen gets the Chaos Storm off for the kill. Now, can they turn it around onto Shy? No, they can't. Nice catch onto Roar. Flash comes through from Mad Life. There's the fish and the death. And Shy coming back right now. There's Ambition. Shy going to get the Wild Growth on him. Shy not going to live through the Chaos Storm. Lee Sin picks up the kill. Mad Life here just to provide some defense as Space goes one on one into Roar. Blade the Ru 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 King Pop. There's a flash to the side of the culling. Space is going to get this kill in the 1v1. Ended with an advantage as well. Ignar is just going to have to monsoon. Uh -oh. And Expression gets in there, does get the knockup. Two Sin picks up another kill. It's a big melee here. Shy with that wild growth. Now they turn on to Frozen. Frozen drops the gravity field. Shy going to play for Trickster on top of Frozen. His damage already too much to handle. Two Sin trying to clear out the wave with his smite. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. Another good tornado from Ignar buys them time. Just like Space, who won lane in the previous game, but lost to all the pressure from the global stuff. And oh, here's the engage. And they're going to kick Mad Life in. Not the person you wanted, but he will die to Roar. It comes at the cost of Tucson, and he, Mad Life actually gets the kill with and the Space ignite. over the side. They want to get the kill. Hook on to Frozen immediately. Frozen condemned into the wall and killed. Space quite low, but Summoner Heal will keep him alive. And now the Baron will be taken by Elise, in spite of the fact that Expression got into the pit. 
Yeah, they are going to force him to chase into the tier one, but in the meantime, space is casually taking Big over. Big pickup for Mad Life and always has been. So that's, uh oh, Coco has to flash away from the Lee Sin as the rest of his team collects a humongous minion wave. And one next turn already down. Nobody can defend against space right here. That is going to be a win for CJ Entis here in game number two. A very strange best of three this evening. Some weird picks, some weird plays, some weird decisions, but we're going to game number three. I understand that sometimes our viewers need in that case, right? But yep. here we go. Frozen has to run out. Ambition with the tunnel coming in. Flash knock up. Frozen gets the chilling smite. And Frozen has to flash out. Coco goes in. Mad Life is here. Gets a hook onto Tucson. First blood. The crowd very well. much does enjoy that. But when you're AD carrying the top, who needs to apply pressure, has that sort of a trade. Speaking of trades, Expression is dead. Just a straight up solo kill. Now, are they going to go for it? They are going to go in. Frozen with the chilling smite on him, and he gets knocked back by the wall. Frozen gets a nice double bind, but it's not going to be quite enough. Ambition is holding off. He's going to have to take it with the Prey Seeker. You can see already Expression moving away. Space is going to get turret dive. Finally being paid for Thresh roaming so heavily. Okay. And here he comes. Coco going to come into this one. Ambition already very low. Ambition will get lantern out, but. Not quite gonna die yet, but there's Expression coming in with a TP. Now does fish here, and that's what they're going to do. Get Frisky here with Gentle Benar under the turret, and Ignite is down, and that's a kill. Tucson gets knocked up, Chilling Smite down, and there's a great hook onto the end. Space easily chasing down Tucson's Gragas, and Coco tries to box him in. Here's another dive from CJ Entis. Hook. Going to be dodged out by the final hour, but it's not going to be enough. Pink Ward, I'm just here to save Solo Q. You're here to destroy it. And here we go. They are here to destroy Frozen. Flash play and locked up until space. Not going to get knocked out. Ignar has his put dredge line interrupted. A big ult, a big final spark, but it's just not enough. Within one auto attack of being dead. Expression now trying to chase him down with the slope of the boomerang. Space is certainly dead to rights, and there's a couple kills all on his own, and there's a play. Sand soldiers are there. Space doesn't have any follow up with his ultimate, though, remember. But the hook, the hook comes through. Coco with the kill. Anything quite yet? Expression low on the outside. No one from CJ dying quite yet. Shy falls. A big split call right there from CJ. Coco gets jumped on top of. What is Coco going to do now? Bends it Ooh. around. A beautiful Azir. Everyone was already there. Shy just going to TP back in, and here comes Frozen in the river. Tucson there, too. Can they actually dissuade Shy? They can. He used his ignite to get the kill. Oh. Uh, oh, Space ends up somehow very far away, and that's a dodge onto the final spark. Mad Life gets out, but here comes Coco right into the middle of the fight. Has to back away as Vayne. But Frozen once again falling down comfortably. They get the pick on Tucson, actually push him into the Baron pit. Oh, oh, oh. And there you go, Coco with another kill. Zonia's on the outside, wants to stay alive, pops over to, to the other side of the Baron wall. And now Shy starting to clean up alongside Space. Expression on the run. Expression has no defensive items, remember. CJ pile on the kills. They've actually kept the Baron leash. It's at 2,000 health. Gonna fall low. Gonna secure that objective, actually, just to the auto. And there we go. Is this going to be the last team by Roar in the front line? Actually getting a lot of damage down onto Ambition, but he's gonna get bumped oh. out by Coco with that ultimate, showing that those E nerfs don't matter. He's still got it in him. And Ignar on the outside of his base, just funneled into the base gate by Shy. And this should be the win here for CJ Entis with this Baron expression. Caught out, unburrowed on, double kill for Shy. Frozen, the last man standing, his pink tickle beam not going to affect Shy in the least.
And Coco curves it around the Nexus for some style points at the end. CJ will take the series two to one. Just good play from CJ. You have to question the draft from IM. That last final spark in particular looked like it was a heel beam rather than <laughs> any sort of damaging ability onto Shy. <laughs> that lane so not so much of a jungle fall but here we go the reverse boo is in effect there's the w scores there with the flash knock up and the reverse boo so he's gonna get dove under the turret there's the rune prison coming down someday already level three and and he has translated that into these tank stats so knock day now going to get charm barrier down and the flash comes through there's the spirit rush and lyra gets the kill with that cinder hulk anyway not so revealed just yet yeah. no least sin is there they see everyone right now. Victor back at base, and here we go. W stun, Snowflower melted. They're going on to Songyun right now. Arrow, not a lot of mana to continue this fight. There we go. Q hits on to Songyun. Songyun to the brush. There's no vision in there right now. And will Arrow get the second kill? The answer is no. Score picks it up with a turret shot. We saw a rotation from mid. Victor had to go top, so now they chip down this mid turret. In fact, it's just going to turret down. That's risky against the rise. And there's the Dar, but is it going to be worth it? Chaos Storm goes down, and they pick up a kill. Someday gets the kill onto the Nar, and now Mickey falls to Pickaboo on the roam into the mid lane. And can they track down this Lee Sin? Flash over the wall. Q will transfer the life energy of Lyra into Nagne. <laughs> All right, dive onto Someday right now. They are going to TP for that, so they get the pick. Nicely done. They are going to get the tower. That was well played by Anarchy. They saw Corky in the top lane and decided to take a tier two for a tier one. And they're not done. Yeah, they are not done yet. But with Victor there, they will be very soon. Ari trying to answer this. Uh, um, so that happened. That's not what you want to do. Baron, Someday has every opportunity just to TP in. Worth knowing that the Narva is very, very good. Draws out the teleport. Here we go. And there we go. Nogde is kicked back immediately in this fight. There's the gravity field. Great gravity field. Someday and Nogde on the flank. Ooh. Nice Nar ultimate, but will it be enough? Someday, remember, has that QSS. He's just chunking through the Nar, and it will be a two for two once Ixu comes back up. He can't escape after that GA goes down. Even though the carries are both fairly Oh, Sunday is going to have to flash out of that one. They're going for the dive right now. Nagde with the Chaos Storm, but that kick setup was so good from Anarchy. They are going to buy themselves a new lease and they're going to try and fight this anyway. Snowflower in the front line. 4v5. Uh -oh. Mickey is here. Someday is gone. Score. Trying to disengage with the explosive cast. Sanyun and Arrow skirmishing on the back line. There's Arrow going to QSS, but he is certainly going to die in the end. Can't even get a kill. And Pickaboo falls for the ace. And now, will it be a Baron or will it be the finish? Looks like Mickey wants down there. Nagne will respawn in time, but they've got 50 seconds to work with here. Has KT gone a little bit too far? Was this the right call though, Monte Cristo? As you mentioned, with 50 second death time, as they still choose to take out the Baron. Our culling in response, but the chunk advantage to KT Rolster. Here comes Hixu, oh. scoops him back in. Now can they do it? Nagne getting focused out. Nagne is going to fall to Sanyun. Arrow still trying to kite this battle out. Someday is going to be the next to die, and this is going to be Anarchy winning this game as they actually managed to pull off a win over KT, catching them out of position. Ixu once again showing up massively on this NAR. It's not just Ixu and the Ari from Mickey, the Lee Sin from Lyra as well. When they get onto these higher mobility assassins who have playmaking potential, this is the result. Wow, impressive win from Anarchy. Misplays from KT, but they prevent them from getting Dragon number five, and they clutch it out at the very end. The Twisted Fate is Snowflower. Oh, got to grab Pikachu. Remember, Pikachu is no flash. He is gone. First blood. For now, there's the destiny. What's going to happen to score? Going to flash right there. Then Chrono break back, but Song Yun is there. Remember, no. Especially with the Stan United use. Arrow with the Valk forward. He's caught in the Dragon Pit right now. Mickey on the backside. And someday comes through with the ultimate. They lose two and a Dragon.
but are they going to be able to finish it? Rocket, Q, Auto. Not Mickey does have flash up, parallel convergence zoning to the outside. Okay, flashes backwards, but he's not going to live through the chaos storm. There is no help. Ult coming on through, on to Pikaboo. He's going to flash forward so that they can dive the turret. Taunt misses. They're still going to flash forward and kill him. And there is Mickey trying to get in position for that, but he gets found out. The big dive from KT Rolster. They're not done yet. Lyra coming through. Nogne's there with the speed boost, and Lyra tries to turn it around, but... Oh, nearly gets the stun. He will land the time winder, and there is just too much damage. Crit lands to this Baron right now, but they have to try. It's going to be the world's slowest Baron. Only Infinity Edge, no other modifiers for damage whatsoever. And Sung in Lear is not that tanky either. Mickey's trying to zone, but he's going to die. Yes, he will. Uh, Scorch is going to get into the pit right now and start stunning Snowflower. And there we go. Someday, actually, Mickey gets the Baron, but how many will they lose for it? Nagne is churning through a culling, actually flashes for the kill onto Song Yun, double kill. Mickey Back gets right out. now, Score going to join him, stuns up Lyra. There's a time winder going across. Score actually going to fall though. There's Nagne, gets a good kill with his death ray, and Nagne just going crazy, double Ooh. kill already. Nice star ultimate from Ixu, double kill from Song Yun. Arrow also will fall, triples on both sides, Song Yun and Nagne, but a preferential trade. I don't know about this. Okay, he's gonna get stunned. Uh, Can he actually live? No, it was a suicide mission. Nagne okay, gonna take some damage. Ixu gonna take more. There's the phase dive. Coming in, they wanna fight this. Mickey is zoned out on the side. What is he going to do? And Stand United will pop here. Score still once more. Time Winder scooped out, but not before Arrow lands the kill. Two for none. Well, pretty much. Where's his glacier crowd? Where's his GA? Good All right, question. fine. Well, here's a fight. In any case, and Lyra not going to survive that one. Someday gets the flash back out instead of the flash engage. Ixu falling low on that Chaos Storm. They're going to change it to Song Yu. Nice rocket for the finisher. And yeah, and Ixu gets an R, does some damage, but is too squishy to actually live. Score gets the Stand United on top. That'll save his life, at least for the moment. Nagne actually falls there, shut down for Mickey, but all is for naught. This Nexus is gone. KT ties it up one to one here. Meanwhile, you missed most of this level one, actually. We're already a minute into the game. There was no pause or anything like that. Nagne goes back, forgot his trinket. And a side stone. They're going to go all in right now. Score is here. Score has the damage. Last breath comes through. There's the follow up CC. Ixu is low. And the explosive cast is going to hide him for a second. And the oh. Meganar just doesn't come through. Barely. Someday now getting through the minion waves. And that's a dead. Ixu going to gnar them into a turret. Pikaboo already here. Score with the follow up. Where is the cocoon? There is the cocoon. And someday. Bit dangerous. He is going to get the wind wall down. But he's also going to fall to Mickey until Lyra gets taken out by a lantern, but he's going on his Snowflower. Oh man, someday going crazy. Are they gonna be able to finish this one? Someday actually gonna flash into a Gnarl right there. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. There's the Emperor's Divide, but they finally kill Snowflower, but is it going to be worth it? Arrow somehow finds Mickey. Ooh. Missed combo by Pikaboo. Nagne is going to get a triple. What is that happening on the side? Very possible. Yep, and they're just going to take it. At least we'll finish it off. Mickey getting low, exhaust. Well, some days re-engaging, has the Trinity Force, doesn't choose to use the last breath. Oh, yes, it oh, did. My bad. You are not tanky enough to be in the middle of that mess. So there we go. Snowflower will pay for your sins. And, oh, Pikaboo's going to get grabbed, so he can't engage onto Mickey. Does take some damage and is forced to pop his ultimate. But still. This siege, difficult to stop. Actually, Nogne gets out of position. That is a very big misplay from Nogne as they shut him down. He can't be there all alone. Uh, the Azir turret's still there, and oh, you can't oh. dive that. Here comes Someday. Oh, Got the exhaust. He will fall. Didn't do quite enough damage through that exhaust, but it doesn't matter. Arrow is here to tank a turret and then not die to Ari. Weird. And they finally cleared out. Hello, Lantern. Valk forward, there's the Blade of the Ruined King. Snowflower gonna drop everything, but that is not enough because Cocoon just sticks him in place. At the end of the season, Mikaboo just goes ahead and gets there out of we that go. End. Huge damage from the Yasuo off of the knockup. Double kill immediately. Give him the penta kill. Nope. Oh.
That would have been a great way for someday to end his season. But he it's... doesn't need another pentakill. <laughs> King T needs more pentakills. Five in a season. What? Someday's got a delayed triple. Maybe a delayed penta? Delayed triple. There's a flash out from Ixu. Nope, just going to ignore him after Valking. They want to get the win right away. <laughs> Song Yoon decides Yasuo. that he will fall. And that will be KT sewing up the second seed in the playoffs.